Maxine Waters has struck again. The California Congresswoman has become a celebrity on the left lately for her willingness to say bizarre things that seem at times untethered from reality. She's a particular dislike, apparently, for HUD Secretary Ben Carson, weirdly. A month ago, she vowed to, paraphrasing here, take apart his rear end. Now she's vowing further harassment. Watch this. Ben Carson. That's <laughs> over So what exactly about Ben Carson makes Maxine Waters so mad? Is it HUD policies or is it something else? Jumani Williams is a New York City councilman and he joins us tonight. Councilman, thanks all for coming on. Thanks so, for having me. I don't know if you've ever talked to Ben Carson. Um, I don't, you probably don't agree with some of the things he says, but he couldn't be a nicer man, a more gentle person. You saw him during the debates. I mean, it's, it's very hard to think of anyone being mad at Ben Carson. And yet Maxine Waters really is focused on him. What do you think that's about? Well, one, in a case like this, for me, it was a case of don't, know who, don't learn who your heroes are. Because Ben Carson, Carson, sorry, Ben Carson was a hero of mine when I was younger. Uh -huh. I know I speak for a lot of young black men who are disappointed to see where he is and his real ideology and policy. I wrote an op-ed that said that this man actually shouldn't be uh, the head of HUD, uh, and I believe he was only put there because he has some melanin in his skin. But I think the bigger issue around uh, Trump... Well, wait, wait a second. Hold on, sir. That's, a, that's an awful thing to say about somebody. Hmm. Do you have any evidence for that? Uh, there, there, for me, seemed no other reasons for a man who was clearly unqualified, uh, had no experience in housing at all whatsoever, and when you have the words urban in it, to put someone with some melanin in their skin. That was reason enough for me. I know you can disagree. The other well, issue... Well, it's not that I'm disagreeing. It's just that I'm, I'm challenging you because you're attacking his qualifications. You're calling him an affirmative oh, action that, that, that is a, a quota hire. Attacking his, attacking no, wait, his qualifications. His qualifications is clear that he had no qualifications for HUD. No, no, but, but uh, hold on. Sure. Oh, wait, slow down. Jack, Jack Kemp was HUD secretary. He had no background in housing. He was a fine housing secretary, but he was white, so you wouldn't have attacked him the way you're attacking Ben Carson. No, I guess I would, what bothers me is you're attacking this man on the basis of his race. Because and that just Ben seems Carson has also said uh, that he doesn't agree with everything that HUD is actually supposed to do. And so with that and his background, he is wholly unqualified uh, to be HUD and urban development. So you and have only to agree with everything an agency does before you run it? No, he doesn't agree with anything that, that, that HUD is supposed to do. Exactly. Okay, well, why, why is that? I mean, is there, something, is there something specific that you disagree with him on yes, in well, housing gonna, policy? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, one, he said uh, poverty is a choice. Two, he's trying to roll back uh, the fair housing uh, programs that uh, were put uh, underneath the previous administration. Just recently, he knocked down 40 buildings, uh, uh, public housing buildings in Illinois, and put 400 people into homelessness. He has talked about the policies of HUD specifically and said he doesn't agree with them. He's had no experience in this field. He is a brilliant surgeon. I'm sure he's a wonderful father. Uh, but being put where the word urban is seemed to me very clear why. And I think... And but, this but, hold on, but you don't know that. And I guess I, I just... I mean, it just seems so unfair. It, it's, it's sort of the way Clarence Thomas was treated when he went to the Supreme Court. I mean, there are lots of people no, in the Clarence Supreme Thomas Court... Was, Clarence Thomas was an he attorney. Was attacked no, no, he was attacked because he was black. Clarence Thomas. By African American Thomas, leaders. Clarence who said it's, Thomas was an attorney. Yeah, but he uh, could, hold on. But, he, he, there's nobody more hated than Clarence Thomas because but, he was seen what, what, as a traitor but somehow. But what I'm going to say just, about the Maxine Waters standard, thing, which was the I'm original, saying. the Maxine Waters question, which is the original question. For yes. me, uh, where we are in this country, we have to be honest. And to me, uh, the, 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 the uh, Trump administration, particularly much of the conservative agenda, we have to ask why uh, people who believe in uh, neo-Nazism, why people who believe in supremacy support those agendas, support those ideologies, support those policies. And Ben Carson is a part of those who support it. And it is a problem. And Wait, so is Ben Carson a white supremacist too now? Uh, no, I believe he and many others around Trump support the same things that supremacists and Nazis support. That is clear. Is that Ben Carson's fault? I mean, maybe he sincerely believes what he believes. Why are you trying to tar him with white oh, supremacy? that's fine. Then we just have to acknowledge, as long as we're acknowledging that the Nazis and the supremacists believe them as well because of their exclusive uh, policies and who they're going to yeah, exclude that, and that, who they're going to hurt. Do you know what McCarthyism was? That, that was course. smearing people unfairly with the beliefs of those they had nothing in common with. He would say, oh, no, you but know, this is not yeah, unfair. I would say, wait, hold on, no, but Giovanni, did sure. you know you're a vegetarian? So was Adolf Hitler. 
Just, okay. are you a Nazi? I mean, that's okay. like, it's, it's no, insane. No, no, no. What I said, and I made clear to say that there's policy, the policies of the right oftentimes exclude people and keep them under oppression. And we've been saying that for quite some time. Really? That is why the oh. Nazis and the, white, and the supremacists support those views and support those policies. I Lee, kinda, at, well, Lee well, Atwater, let me, let me Lee Atwater this. in the 80s right. actually yeah, made Lee it quite clear. clear. Let me just ask you a question. Sure. How many people were shot in Chicago last week? Lee oh, 60, Atwater. So, hold on, slow down. 63 people sure. were shot in Chicago. Sure. I think almost all of them African American. That Republicans didn't do that. You want to talk and about I'm wondering gun why nobody... We should, we, those you are know, actual I would love people. to talk about gun are violence. Are you more... A, because okay, gun violence on. kills more people than terrorism, no. but people okay. who watch your show only focus on one thing. So if we want to talk about gun violence, we should. I right. would love okay. to talk about gun violence. But, but why is it... I just wonder why is guns didn't do that. People shot picked up guns and, and shot other people. I, I from, understand. Okay. What I said is gun but, but violence you never hear anybody kills mention exponentially that. more it's people than violence, terrorism. It's gun violence. It's people For, killing people other people. People are using guns to perform yeah, violence. That's, that's fine. Or knives but, or whatever. But, but they're but what harming I'm saying, each like other, Lee but Atwater, you don't seem to care. Lee Atwater, because you want Republican to politicize who supported everything. Reagan, okay, Lee made it clear what they were saying. They were saying they can no longer use the N-word, so they have to talk about policies uh -huh. that hurt the black community. That was clear in the 80s, and we see it now. Okay, I, I just wonder if anything that you're saying improves the lives of anyone. Great. Of anyone. So now what we have no, to do no, is... I'm sincere. No, I'm, I'm sincere. being sincere also. Like the reason I say... I'm saying I'm going to be sincere. Okay. Yeah. The reason I'm saying it is because we need to be uh, uh, honest about what we're doing so then we can move forward. You need to scare the keep... crap out of your constituents so they don't ask hard questions no, about why you're not we, making their well, lives better. the question better. is <laughs> when we're you know honest exactly about what what's you're actually doing. happening, yeah. then we can move uh, forward. Uh, right. You, you represent a poverty-stricken, violent part of New York. No, but rather you than, are but when a, a people great look, mouthpiece when your for people who believe in exclusion. Okay. Right. And what I'm, we have I'm to do is that. knock that you down. You know what? I'm actually not for exclusion at all in I, any I way. Know, but I said I'm you just saying it's a lot for. I don't easier. Know what you believe, but that's but like I do you're, know the policies. Excuse me of, of racism. All you want. The policies of talking about Mexicans. Right, the right, policies okay. of talking about. Uh, I got it. Islam. All right. It's Changing the exclusion. subject again. Anyone who criticizes you as a racist. No, but I'm just saying it's not. pretty easy that. for politicians no, what, like what you to say. Don't ask questions about how your lives suck. Just the white supremacists over here. And so I'm very excited that history is going to exonerate people who are talking like me and frown about people who are speaking like you. Ooh, now I'm worried, Councilman. I probably should be, actually, considering the way the country is going. <laughs> no, no, but I'm Thanks talking for coming to the people on. who no, watch I, I get topic, it, I get it, I get it. Thanks.